Oh, no man. Uh, I'm miss my action films, and I, and I think uh, because Viva Max is doing so well, I'm sure in the future they're going to be doing uh, ibat ibang genre, including actions. films mo lately, medyo romantic, medyo nagubadubad ka. But I know that you are a martial artist, an expert at that. Hindi uh, mo ba nami-miss yung mga action films? Oo oh, naman, uh, nami-miss ko yung mga action films. And I, and I think uh, because Viva Max is doing so well, I'm sure in the future, they're going to be doing uh, iba't ibang genre, including action. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But for now, um, yeah, I'm enjoying the roles that Viva's giving me, and uh, even though the theme might be erotic, there's a lot, especially in this movie, um, that all people can enjoy. Um, for one thing, the, uh, the motorcycle racing that my character does, uh, some of those scenes I think are going to be pretty impressive, and the free diving as well. So uh, I, I can't wait to see the movie. Well, uh, like she said, uh, our relationship was a, was a different dynamic. We've been together for a long time. Our characters have been together for a long time. And uh, I don't want to give too much away, but, uh, you know, I think the fire was more in her new relationship. So, uh, but yeah, no, Ariella is a uh, trooper. Uh, we had some pretty crazy scenes, not the... Uh, that uh, really impressed me with her commitment to uh, to acting. So. Well, my character kind of lives two lives, and uh, during the day, conservative shy, has got a good job, a good wife. But at night, he moonlights as a very wild uh, motorcycle racer. So for this part, I, uh, I had to learn how to drive a motorcycle. I had done, I've, I've ridden scooters before. First time? First time, first time. And I did 12 hours of training, but the motorcycle was a training, was like a 150cc bike. And then, pag the things are set, I know, I think 1,000cc is the bike na ibinigay sa akin. And ang bigat. So I was like, oh my God. And then to add that, uh, I had to have uh, Ara as Kasakai, and I never even trained with having anybody as a Kasakai. So I was like, oh my god, and I was praying the first day, please, just don't kill Ara. <laughs> okay, if, if, if I die, but not her, please. Um, so the first few takes were interesting, but uh, I think we got the hang of it after, uh, I don't know, 100 takes or something, no, joke. Uh, after a while, I, I think I got the hang of it, and I'm very happy that that happened because uh, I enjoy motorcycles and now, and uh, I think I might uh, get into that. Because uh, I have so many injuries now from Jiu Jitsu, I'm looking for another hobby. So. <laughs> well, uh, for me, my character lives basically two lives his conservative life during the day, um, seemingly is perfect, but there's an emptiness inside him that he fills with the wrong things. So my, my takeaway, uh, if there's a lesson for me, is that uh, you know, it's, it's normal to, to feel uh, you know, depressed and, and like it's just not enough what you have. But uh, choosing the right things to fill that hole with is very important. Una uh, Una, she's very beautiful. Um, she's got uh, an amazing uh, way of translating her, her uh, personality to the character and um, she's very giving as a um, acting partner and she's very courageous. Uh, you, I, I don't want to give it away but you, when you watch the movie uh, towards the end you will see some really insane scenes that I, I, I personally couldn't even do. If, if I was in her shoes I would have... Uh, <laughs> I would have chickened out, and uh, I was just really impressed with her commitment and um, her genuine joy of, of acting. <laughs>